developer had grand plans for the area around Penn Station, but now we're learning some of them have been put on hold. It has a lot to do with the economy and the work from home situation. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt brings us the update. A spokesperson for the developer is telling me all of the construction that is going on here right now on the street level and above, including the section behind me, which is going to be a pedestrian plaza, that is all continuing. What is being put on hold is building at least five new skyscrapers that had been planned for the area. The developer of the massive Penn District project is pulling back for now on building new skyscrapers at the site. The CEO of Vornado Realty saying high interest rates are hurting new construction. In addition, the number of office workers still working from home is basically eliminating the need for new office space. Manhattan State Senator Brad Hoyleman voted against the project multiple times in the state legislature. We don't need commercial office space. We need affordable and supportive housing. In December, Fox 5 got an exclusive look at the construction currently underway at Pen 1 and Pen 2. They are being transformed into office space, cafes, a town hall, rooftop terrace, and a pedestrian plaza. The developer says this will all be completed in about a year. They were also planning to break ground on five new skyscrapers in the near future, but that is now on hold. Hoyleman is now calling on Governor Hochul to amend the developer's plans. But this is a great opportunity to rethink this plan even further and build the housing that New Yorkers need. A Vornado executive spoke to me by phone about when construction might begin on the new skyscrapers. We need a tenant to kick off any of these new builds. We need construction financing to kick off any of these new builds. It's impossible to uh, project how many years at this point in time. At Penn Station, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.